The business Thomas and I have chosen is an ice cream parlor, and the specific product we have selected is vanilla ice cream. The business will operate in North Queensland. With hotter climates, North Queensland is a perfect spot to set up the store. Furthermore, by having the ice cream parlor at places where there is a large amount of people outside in the heat, like Riverway for example, the incentive for ice cream increases. Our target audience is targeted children as they have the highest consumption out of all the age groups in a survey conducted by the Public Health Department of England. We also believe it will attract a range of other customers who enjoy ice cream and will be slightly cheaper than alternative options. Due to the high markup of ice cream and other businesses, we will be reducing our price of ice cream while still providing high quality ice cream. By doing this, we hope to bring in more customers so that we can achieve a profit after accounting for both fixed and variable costs. Taken from the Australian Census in 2011, there are approximately 230,000 people living in North Queensland, and 217,000 of those live in Townsville. Customers will be able to purchase the product at the store's location. It is a takeaway shop, so customers will have to come to the shop. This will only be a viable option due to the melting point of ice cream. The only way we could expand the business is by making it available for delivery services, which would need to invest in insulated tubs to keep the ice cream frozen. There are four main direct competitors in North Queensland region, including Gelatissimo, Baskin Robbins, Juliet's, and New Zealand Natural Ice Cream. There are also a further three indirect competitors, including Donut King, McDonald's, and Hungry Jack's. These top four companies hold 80% of the ice cream market in North Queensland. Gelatissimo holds 35%, holding the most amount of the market. Juliet, Juliet's holds 25% of the market, Baskin and Robbins holds 20%, and New Zealand Natural Ice Cream holds 10%. Looking long term, our company hopes to hold at least 20% of the market in North Queensland. In order to obtain this goal, entry barriers will have to be overcome. Barriers to enter include capital costs. Capital costs are a major entry barrier due to the high investment needed to get started. Industrial machinery will require to produce ice cream is expensive, with basic ice cream machines costing around $10,000 and more advanced ones upwards of $60,000. A good location is also essential for the success of the business. Without a great location, there will be no potential customers around to purchase the ice cream. As the business is not already established brand, there will be, need to be an excessive amount of advertising and marketing to establish this. This can be done through social media due to potential exposure by using social media company like Facebook to advertise. It will cost us around $6 per 1000 impressions. There is also legislation barriers that will have to be overcome, including Legally, there must be employer's liability insurance. Without this insurance, hefty fines can be charged days until this cover is put in place. A business license and food license is also needed. A security deposit on rented or leased buildings. Standards need to be upheld in the workplace or fines will be incurred and can cause the business to shut down until these problems are fixed. Barriers to exit. The specialized equipment would be considered as a specialty product. Therefore, 
Selling the equipment has potential to be quite difficult, as not too many people are in the market looking to buy this equipment. Exit fees on store leases and redundancy pay for workforce is essential to all employees who are not casual. Cooperation in the industry. After looking at each of the store prices, I assume there is not a cooperation between businesses in the industry, as prices vary on the ice creams. Gelatismo sell their ice creams a dollar less than Juliet's across their whole range. I was unable to obtain prices of the other two market leaders as their prices were not online. The factors of production needed for our business are capital represented by K and labour represented by L. Capital are man-made goods used to aid production, such as machinery, raw materials, and factories. Labor is the use of physical human work in the role of production. Land was also considered, but we aren't sure whether this will directly affect our business. As for example, milk would be purchased off a distributor in our case. Of these factors of production, capital is fixed as the machinery, products, etc. used to make the vanilla ice cream remain constant. The factors of labour are variable, as it is unknown how many workers are needed for the most optimal state of production. After careful selection, the monopolistic market competition model best represents the industry in which we will be operating as it matches the competitive industry we are in with multiple firms, freedom to enter and exit, and the freedom to produce differentiated products. We plan to define Q as the total output of both capital, which is obviously fixed, and the labour, which is variable, as this is the most logical and simple method. The potential values of Q will be defined on a production function once the numbers are produced using information on the subject found clearly outlined in online articles. We plan to estimate or guesstimate demand for Q through using findings and data in online articles on the subject of ice cream to estimate what our demand would be. Some problems that may arise from this include the fact that demand for ice cream may be different for each country, state, etc. that the article is written in and also the fact that articles may have just not be specifically talking about the vanilla ice cream, but ice cream in general. However, due to the vanilla arguably being the most popular ice cream flavour, we doubt how much this will affect demand estimation. It is also important to note that the age of the articles and how demand may have potentially changed from this. We plan to estimate or guesstimate our costs through using information shared on the same online articles used for guesstimating or estimating demand. They will give clear outlines and assist us in producing as close to accurate estimation of business costs. Some problems that may arise include the fact that the cost for machinery, ice cream, etc. may cost different prices depending on country and state where the articles were made. It is also important to note that the age of the articles and how costs may have 